New algorithm should increase uptime by at least 20%. Let's hope that's enough. We need to catch a break here. Excellent. Proceed to phase two. Initiating dispersal protocol now. Releasing the drones. They're in the air. First data burst coming in three, two, one. Piping the data streams into little blue. Starting the predictive model. All right, she's all yours. All right, we are live. How's it looking on your end, Major? Looks good. Transmission is clean. Statistical accuracy at 42%, 44, now 48%. Looks like we have a constant rise to target, Major. Tracking. You see it? About 3,000 meters at our 10 o'clock, 18 degrees east. 52%. Let's switch it over. Hold on. Now at 55%. Drones are down 30%. We'll start to get a drop in data transmission in 30 seconds. Just hold on. 57%. Stabilizing at target levels, Major. We're running out of time. Let's do this, people. Yes, switching to lateral controls now. We're measuring a wind speed increase of 11%, sir. 11%? Outstanding. Let's fly this plane. Affirmative. Ready to proceed to the next phase. Acceleration is increasing. Velocity up 18%. 18%? That's significantly higher than the model. Do we have a problem, Doctor? Can I confirm at this time, Major? We're now at 23%. Ground speed, 735 miles per hour. You're exceeding the structural limitations of the plane. Shut it down. Negative response. We're still accelerating. Integrity of the jet stream is compromised. It's diving. Get back to your seats. Lock in. Break out of the stream. Initiate shutdown protocols now. We need more power to break out of this. Max out on throttle. Lost contact, sir. I need the abort code. Hang on. Let's see if they can break out of this. The jet stream's been diverted. Diverted where? West Coast, sir. Just north of San Francisco. Abort code Tango Delta. Transmitting. Surf's up in California. I, I am a scientist. I was, I was going to be a scientist. I was going to go further with that, but now here I am. I'm a weatherman. Okay, more energy, more energy. Ah! I'm Steve Sonny Simpson. 
When you're looking for the guy that knows Seattle's weather, I'm the weather. It's Angel. <laughs> this is forward, right? Okay, let's try it again. But this thing's not knocking on our door yet. It's way out in the Scablands. Does, does anybody even know where the Scablands are? Are they east-west? Oh, they're east, okay. Um, going again? What, what, we're live? Normal high in the Seattle area this year. <laughs> so it looks like another Steve Sonny Simpson week. Huh, kilometers? Are we, are we doing the Canadian version or the American version? Here we go. Have winds gusting up into the 60 kilometers per hour, just about midnight. On the way, we'll talk about that in the moment. In the moment. In the moment. In the moment. Morning, Seattle. Take a deep breath. The air is fresh and clean thanks to the freak thunderstorms that have been hitting us all week. The weather guy swears to me we've got nothing but blue sky ahead of us. That doesn't go for the Seattle Thunderbirds, of course. Yep, they're 0-14 and looking for a way into the record books. If you ask me, we can do it. Let's see if we can't take this losing streak. There you go. Just sent you my analysis. Excellent. We look forward to reviewing it. Okay, so listen, Mr. or Ms. Anonymous, whoever you are. This armchair analyst thing you have me doing here, it's falling short. We really need some on the ground observations. What are you proposing? Well, it looks to me like one of these anomalies is forming kind of close to here. How can you tell? I don't know, I can just tell, call it a hunch. Anyway, here's an idea. How about we go out there together, we make some observations and we finally meet. That's not recommended. Hey, honey. What do you mean not recommended? There's no substitute for direct observation. Plus, I think I deserve to know who I've been dealing with. We strongly advise you stay clear of that area. Honey? Why? What's the issue? Why won't you just... Oh, my... Hello? Over here? Your fiancé? Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Who are you just talking to? I wish I knew. It's this same anonymous caller. They keep feeding me data and asking me questions. Really? You expect me to believe that? Why would they be feeding you data? I don't know, I guess they um, value my input. And who might they be? Like I keep telling you, baby, I have no idea. It's probably some climate research team that's stuck and they need some insight. From you, a research team. What do you mean from me? <sighs> Nothing. Oh, you mean from a guy who got kicked out of his doctoral program for plagiarism. Okay, I didn't say that, so stop being so sensitive. Okay. Besides, I thought they called it cheating. <laughs> yeah, same thing. I get it, okay. <laughs> okay, plagiarism. Okay, stop. Look, you know I'll stand by you no matter what. You've just, you've got a great opportunity here. As the KPQR weatherman? Yeah. Steve, you've gotta let go of the past. Okay, you've got a new job ahead of you and rocking the boat like this is risky. I'm not rocking the boat. I've been tracking these weird patterns for months now. My predictive algorithms show that they're gonna spike I just, I wish you could forget all this and focus on your job. My job is to predict the weather, Ange. No, that is a scientist's job, and that didn't pan out, which, you know, is fine by me. But your job is to, you know, deliver your lines and look cute and be funny, and you're great at that. Jack knows it, too. He's grooming Jack, you. Jack, please. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Please think about it for me. I have. This is Steve. Steve? Come on, buddy, where's the nickname we worked out? Steve Sonny Simpson, weather guy. Friendly, easy on the eye, right? You with me? Sonny, Sonny Simpson, yeah, sure. You know, we don't want to alienate the average show. Alienate, God forbid we... We are entertainers, Sonny boy, hold on a sec. Well, what the hell is this? Get him in here. That's what I love about this job. Entertainment opens up opportunities to inspire, to educate, to make a difference in the world. Oh, uh, whoa, 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 what the hell are you talking about? This is about ratings. I don't know what difference you're planning on making, but this is all about ratings. So let's see if we can't give them a boost, huh? Lighten up, bring some levity to the game. My bottom line goes down when their bottom line goes down. You got that? Um... Go, go, go. Yeah, I can do that, Jack. You know, I can, I can do some light banter and, you know, we can have a little more fun with it. That's cool. 
Maybe try something where you wear different outfits, you know? Like reflecting the weather. So if it's snow, like wear a big coat. If it's rain, maybe a rain hat. If it's a sunny day, maybe a colored shirt. Wow, Jack, you know what, man? That's really the original. Let's try injecting some sex appeal. How about a Speedo? A Speedo? Are you serious? <laughs> serious as a heart attack. Yeah, you know what, Jack? Um, I don't think that's gonna play too well. Oh, come on, Sonny, get with the program. Whoa, 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 hold on. I got another brainstorm. Weatherman gone wild. Weatherman gone wild? Yeah, you know, like girls gone wild, teens gone wild, weatherman gone wild. Weather's gone crazy, so is the weatherman. Weatherman gone wild. Think about it. It's got YouTube virality written all over it. Weatherman gone wild. I want you to think about it. Come on, say it back to me, Steve. Say it back to me. Smile. Weatherman gone wild. There you go, say it again. You know what, this is really interesting, but I got, I, I got something I gotta talk to you about. Just say it back to me. Come on, weatherman gone wild. Weatherman gone wild, okay? I'm gonna think about it, but listen. I got this huge scoop. It's an unbelievable story. What, like a weather scoop? Yeah, all I need is a camera crew and a field truck. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Tom Brokaw? I'll give you a van and a cameraman. What are you gonna give me, weatherman? Jack, I am gonna give you footage you have never seen before. That's what I love about you, Sonny Boy. You get it. What are we talking about here? Give me the pitch. Okay, check it out, Jack. There's gonna be a convergence in the jet stream that's gonna cause this huge weather anomaly. It's gonna be out of this world. Oh, whoa, 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 what the hell are you talking about? Um, I, I, I'm, I, I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about Weatherman Gone Wild. You know, it's yeah. gonna be off the, off the charts. Richter, Weatherman Gone Wild, I'm all in. Now you're talking. Save all the cerebral nonsense for the Discovery Channel. I want ratings. I want Weatherman Gone Wild. Yeah, I hear you, brother. Okay, cool. Weatherman Gone Wild, I got it. Over and out. The guy is out of his mind. <laughs> you promised me something? Sure, anything, maybe. No more anonymous calls, okay? It just, it doesn't feel right that- I have no idea who's okay, calling me. whatever. Just no more, right? Okay. I love you. <laughs> love you. Ah. Weatherman gone wild. Woo, yeah, baby. You new weatherman gone <laughs> wild. You better look out when you get home tonight. <laughs> Bye. signal. So how'd you get into this racket anyway, Louie? News cameraman. How'd you get into it? Did you always want to be a cameraman? Did you play with the cameras as a kid? You know, stuff like that? You gotta pay the bills. Keeps the bowling chain happy. Right. You mean the wife. The wife. What's happening? Somebody... You know, I was born in Budapest, Hungary. Went to the same film school with Vilmos Zygmunt. Vilmos Zygmunt? Vilmos Zygmunt. Great cinematographer. Shot movies for Steven Spielberg. Spielberg? Really? Yeah, and I shoot the KPQR morning news. I hear you, man. Life's a bitch, huh? And then you die. Yeah. Are you sure there's a story here? Not much to look at. Louie, see those cirrocumulus clouds right there? That's what I want you to focus on. Hmm. 
Well, I thought it was uh, something more to do with whether we're going wild. I'm not sure Jack was thinking about this. I don't care what Jack's thinking about. This is a huge scoop, Louis. The jet stream's not supposed to change. It's a constant. It's like gravity got shut off in the middle of the night. So no girls in bikinis, huh? Just roll the camera. The clouds are perfect right now. Yeah, perfect, you say? Nobody's ever seen anything like this. Okay. How about you just indulge me a little bit? I'll indulge you all you want. Just don't forget that this is supposed to be a live broadcast. Live? Yeah, they want us to do it live. I, I thought we were just getting some B-roll. <laughs> now, are you ready with your, your stand-up? Let them go wild? It's a story about climate change, the jet stream changing course. I don't want rain on your parade, but this is no PBS. Yeah, I hear you. Now, Steve, just relax. Okay. Play the fact that you're on a live shoot and nothing's happening. Trust me, this won't be first time. Really? Thanks, Louis. No problem, kid. You're going to stand there? Yeah, just don't forget to pan up to the sky. Yeah, got it. Here we go. Five, four, three. Boy, I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. <laughs> Speaking of hot and wild, here's our own Steve Sonny Simpson, the weatherman gone wild with an incredible story. Sonny, what do you have for us? How's it going back there? Fine, Steve. The question is, how's it going there? Right. Well, what if I told you that in the middle of the night, gravity got shut off? What? That's exactly what I said. I want you to take a look at this. That's a classic cirrocumulus cloud. They exist between 25,000 and 40,000 feet in the jet stream. But notice how it's shredded. What, what I'm saying kind of is that is the jet stream, as we've known it, has changed fundamentally. That's fascinating, Sonny. So what are we looking at in our future? I mean, in terms of weather. It, yeah, it, it's kind of hard to tell from here, but... What is that? What do you expect us to tell the President, Major? Have you lost control of Thor's hammer? Lost control? What you're looking at is proof of concept. Thor's hammer is going to be one of the most powerful weapon systems ever created. This is not going to get developed without some degree of collateral damage. I'm not exactly sure what your expectations are. We expect the collateral damage to remain below acceptable levels. You give me the eggs, I'll make the omelet. Proceed, Major. Yes, ma'am. Wouldn't have it any other way.
He's awake! Hey, Daisy, looking pretty cute today. Uh, hey folks, the jet stream's moving a lot these days, and it's, uh, really sort of traveling in a direction here, and it's spawning these little spinning depressive things that's hovering right above our heads. Hey, baby. Hey. Big day. You ready to go home? Aren't you a cyber sore eyes? Mm. Watching your favorite show? Yeah. <laughs> to the north and into the east. Bringing in a lot of punch. Wear that raincoat out there. They all got it wrong. Don't worry about them, okay? Jack called. Mm -hmm. They've got a whole new show planned for you. Tornado Man. What? <laughs> Baby, Tornado Man. This is gonna get you on the anchor track. That was no tornado, Ant. You don't know what you're talking about. You're a celebrity now. A celebrity? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're a tornado man. Okay, you have to see this video. You're probably the only person who's not seen this. <clears throat> Almost two million views. But notice how it's shredded. What I'm saying is that the jet stream as we've known it has changed fundamentally. That's fascinating, Sonny. So what are we looking at in our future? I mean, in terms of weather. It, yeah, it, it's kind of hard to tell from here, but... What is that? Isn't that amazing? It has almost two million views. Okay, and wait until you see this. You're even on a t-shirt. <laughs> you know what, Angie? I mean, that's great. Yeah, a million views. But Louie is dead. I... How do you think this makes me feel? Yeah, it's... I know. I took I know. him out there. He was my responsibility. Baby, it was an accident. No, no, it wasn't, Angie. Listen to me. I got a call from those anonymous people, and they warned me not to go out there. But I went out there anyway. Do you hear what I'm saying? They told me not to go. Steve, I've stood by you for two years, helping you rebuild your life. And suddenly this great opportunity has come along, and look, I feel bad for Louis and his family too. Believe me, I do, but no matter what you do now, there's no bringing him back. Will you just think about it? I'm gonna go and handle your release papers, okay? All right. Hello. Hey, yo, 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 is this Tornado Man? Do I have the honor? Uh, hey, Jack. How's it all coming together, buddy? I understand you're almost on your feet. So when can I expect you back? I want Tornado Man on the air. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure I want to be back on the air. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about? You know, with Louie and everything, I just, I don't know if I want to be a weatherman anymore, Jack. Steve. Listen to me, buddy. Bad things happen to good people. Now, you want to spend your life moping, or you want to move on? I just, I don't know Steve, if I can get it. Uh... Listen to me. You got a bright future. You got to weather these things. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 
So, when can I expect you back? When's Tornado Man coming back? Jack, listen, I just need some time, man. I can't commit right now. Okay, Steve, be straight with me. Are you fielding other offers right now? If so, who are you talking to? It's not like that, Jack, all right? I gotta go. Wait, hold on a sec. I gotta Hang call. on a sec. Damn. It's gotta be CNN. I'm gonna have to swing the offer. Oh, man. I'm relieved to hear you survived the incident. Yeah? Who is we, exactly? That information cannot be disclosed at this time. What do you people want from me? Access to the data figures to predict the location of the event. You know what data I used. What model did you use to make the prediction? You want answers for me? You're gonna have to answer my questions. It sounds to me like you guys opened Pandora's box and let out something you can't control. Why don't you guys just tell me who this is? We are asking the questions. No, I'm asking the questions. I went out there, I got someone killed! I want some answers! You were warned. You did not heed our warning. This conversation's over. Oh, my bloody schedule is shot. There's half a dozen lorries behind this one. Come on, get a bloody move on. this thing You what? Say what? What did you say to me, boy? Ти си голям глупак, бе. Ако не трябваше толкова много тая работа с удоволствие, още тук ще ти щупя главата. Oh, well, thank you. Mm, thank you. Make it a gas nasty. You're all right, you are. In London, a freak weather condition caused fish to rain from the sky. They're estimating nearly a hundred thousand fish came down in the space of just a few minutes. Experts say a cyclone in the Atlantic was responsible for what many are taking to be a biblical sign of the end of days. Where we come from, there's an ancient prophecy that say that when a man challenge God, he is punished. Hey! This is how you're planning on spending your day again? What? In front of the computer with the TV on, like some kind of loser? Come on, baby, is this what losers look like? <laughs> you don't want me to answer that question. Hey, doctor said I should stay off my feet for a week. He said that two weeks ago, okay? Ever since you came out of your coma, you've been obsessing about this not a tornado thing. Well, it turns out my hunch may be right. Something is destabilizing the jet stream and it's becoming dangerous and unpredictable. Okay, stop it, Steve. You're not a scientist anymore. Actually, I was working on my PhD in meteorology and atmospheric engineering. Okay. Don't talk to me like I'm stupid. You know that I hate that. All right, look, um, I'm sorry, baby. It's just, you know, I... Look, okay. Whatever you were, they're never gonna let you be that again. I'm sorry, but that part of your life is over. You have a new life now with me, and instead of giving it a go, you're just throwing it away. You should be capitalizing on this YouTube video thing. Oh, come on, YouTube, are you? No, I mean, you know, TV, a book deal, at least renegotiate your contract with the station, but all you're doing is sitting in front of the computer researching something that nobody believes ever happened. It was a freak accident, okay? A tornado. And now you're just in this vicious downward spiral. Wait, is, what'd you just say? It was a tornado. No, no, after, after that. Vicious downward spiral. Oh my God, that, 
That's it, that's it. That's what I've been looking for. That's brilliant. What? You just said something that helped me solve this problem that I've been working on for like a month. What are you doing? Oh my God. Baby, you have no... Steve. This is huge, you have no idea. Gotta go to work. Ange! Are you seriously considering allowing a pile of fish to derail this program? The British are asking questions. Their experts believe this was a motivated incident. We'll be in a politically vulnerable position when the program is revealed. And why? Would we ever feel a need to reveal it? Our fingerprints have to remain invisible, Major. Let me, let me clarify something. This weapon system leaves no fingerprint whatsoever. We're on the verge of transforming America's strategic position back to a level where we will again be unstoppable. If we discontinue this program, do you think the Chinese will? What about the Russians? We need to swallow our fears and remember what we're fighting for. This is all well understood, Major. However, we must warn you. The success of this program will have many fathers, but its failure will be an orphan. Are we clear? Yes. We're clear. Thank you for your confidence. What can I do for you, Doctor? Security's been tracking Steve Simpson's research. The weatherman. Yeah, he may have had a breakthrough. I have a key up down below if you'd like to take a look. The weatherman solved a billion dollar problem that an entire research facility couldn't? More like discovered a deeper problem. Go on. When we took control of the jet stream and accelerated, we destabilized a natural phenomenon. The higher speeds might have led to a complex series of, of chain reactions that may be impossible to model. Doctor, I know all this. But the feeling that it's leading to a complete breakdown of many processes that have contributed to... Bottom line. Imagine the jet stream cycling the world, accelerating itself over and over again. At first, it might create many jet streams, splintering off unpredictably, randomly from the source. But soon, as it increases in power, the rogue streams grow as well, increasing in size, growing to the larger than any city, any country, any continent. They engulf the entire planet. So how do we control it? I don't think we can. No, wrong answer. How do we control it? We have passed the tipping point here, Major. No. We were the catalyst. We created it. That means we can control it. I'm going to ask you one more time. How do we control it? I'm telling you that life on this planet is about to face a major readjustment. Do you think you're the first scientist to say it's the end of the world? When they dropped the atom bomb, they all said, oh, it's the end of the world. When they developed the neutron bomb, they said, again, it's the end of the world. Let me give you a hint. The only thing that leads to the end of the world is the end of the world. If we started it, we can control it, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. I just, I think that I, I'm just missing some pieces of the puzzle. I need some help. You have all the resources of the United States military. I need to bring Simpson in. The weatherman again. How do you think he's gonna feel when he sees you? How will he react when he looks around and sees his life's work has been weaponized. He only needs to understand the more mundane uses of Thor. We created all this to bring rain to the desert. That's my problem. No, your problems are my problems, and I don't want to carry your baggage. 
Fine. We need to bring in Simpson. Bring in the weatherman. Sunny in Seattle, so let's take a look at how the day is developing with Chopper Phil in the morning traffic report. Steve? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm down here, honey. I oh, fell asleep at my desk. Baby, you should take it easy on yourself. What were you doing? You know what? <laughs> I'm really not quite sure what I was doing. But. <sighs> I think I have a feeling I know what I'm doing today. Yeah, what's that? I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna talk to Jack, and uh, maybe we'll launch this Tornado Man thing. You know, maybe he'll give me a show. <laughs> Make it fun with some fun facts, you know, um, mix in some of that <laughs> weatherman gone wild stuff, I guess. That sounds great, baby. Uh, you know, it's still pretty early. You want to come upstairs for a snuggle? Want some breakfast? No, I'm good. I'm gonna grab something at the office. I wanna get in and close Jack, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the spirit. Yeah. See, I told you, it's good to let go sometimes. Yeah, you know? What's the worst that could happen? The end of the world? <laughs> well, it's not. What was I thinking? <laughs> hey, you wanna grab lunch at the Green Tavern? Yeah, sure. All right, sounds good. Don't be late, all right? Good morning, sir. Are you Stephen Simpson? Yeah. I'm Agent Bo. I'm gonna need you to come with us. Hey, uh, sweetie, don't forget to make a reservation. You know how crazy it gets there. Uh, yeah, sure. I got it covered. Don't, don't sweat it. Right now? Yes, sir. What's this about? It's a matter of national security. Do you understand? Who are you talking to, sweetie? Oh, uh, I'm just talking to myself, baby, you know? A little, my crazy morning talk, that kind of stuff. We need to go, sir. All right, Matt, just give me a second, okay? Um, you know what? The funniest thing? I, I don't think I can make lunch. Something just came up. What is it? it it's Jack. He, um, he wants to go over some ideas for this new show. But how did he know you were even coming in? You just told me this morning. Uh, <laughs> I know. It, it's just crazy coincidence. Great minds think alike, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, well, uh, good luck. All right, I gotta go. I love you. Bye, bye. Sad communications. Dude, you just rejected my girlfriend's call. You know what she's gonna do? You must be a single fella. Must be. Yeah, take a look at this. Wow. Top secret document just for me?
we have breaking news coming in. The Midwestern town of Madison, Wisconsin was apparently wiped off the map today after what we're hearing might have been the most powerful tornado on record. It touched down just moments ago. Collateral damage, Major. Success doesn't come without a price. Now put on your big boy pants and get back to work. What is this place? This is the operations room. What's it for? Why don't you go talk to your buddy over there? I'm sure he'll fill you in. Hello, Steve. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Who else would have knowledge of my thesis but not understand it besides the guy who stole it? I didn't steal it from you. Really? You know, we were partners for six years. You were my friend. And you turn around, you accuse me of stealing government documents, plagiarism. You testify against me! It's not that simple, Steve. I guess not. Because you up and vanished. You know, the people back home, they actually thought I had something to do with your disappearance. But the whole time you were here, wherever the hell we are, working some secret government program. He wanted to publish, to give it all away. Our gift to humanity. Listen, Mr. Open Source, did you really think the government was just gonna let you give that kind of power away? Daniel, what have you done? Tell me you've not turned this into a weapon. Same ideals, using weather for the betterment of man. It's just under better control now. Look, I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. That's true. So now you have to make a choice, Mr. Simpson. And who the hell are you? Major Nichols Shaw, United States Air Force. The genie's out of the bottle. So you two can work together, or you can die together. Fielder's choice. Square miles just wiped off the map. Why is this happening? Well, when you geniuses accelerated the jet stream because of the magnetic field, it created a dynamo. The faster it goes, the more energy it creates. But unlike a real dynamo, there's no friction at 40,000 feet to slow it down. Instead, there's this natural push from the warming effect of the sun and the Earth's rotation. I hadn't thought it out. Yeah, well, next time you mess with the planet, you might want to. Oh! What are you talking about? There ain't gonna be no next time. Yeah, I'm fine, Mr. Simpson. What? Look at me. Focus. Now, we need to get back on point and figure out how to control it. The question is, how do you stop that which is unstoppable? I got it. The only force strong enough to spin down the jet stream is the jet stream itself. We splinter off a portion of the stream, turn it around, ram it back into the main current. Make a U-turn and slam it back into the main stream. Yeah. That's your big idea. Yeah, genius. Sometimes the simplest ones are the best ones. 
Unfortunately, we don't have nearly that kind of control. Well, if you take into account the dynamo effect and build in the algorithms, we would. We've had hundreds of scientists, the best minds in the world, working on this for years. Mm -hmm. What makes you think you're right? A hunch. <laughs> <laughs> A hunch. A weatherman's intuition. Let's get to work. You ready for this, boys? All right, let's do it. Woo, that is a big plane. Oh, no, 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 don't, please. I told you, no outside communications. Come on, man, let me just call her back, please. This is gonna make her a little bit crazy. She goes nuts when I reject her calls. Now, with the first rejection back in the car, I can explain it, I can sell that, make it look like an accident. But a second one, it's a serious offense. Mr. Simpson, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And it's really not my problem. Persistent, isn't she? That's my girl. No, no, please don't. Don't, hey. don't, don't. I'm rejecting her call, not putting a bullet in her kneecap. Listen to me. She will call the phone company and place a trace on this call. You don't need that. What I don't need is a breach of security protocol. I understand. I promise you. You can see it right here and listen to everything I say. If I say one thing that's not kosher, you can shoot me. Put a bullet in my kneecap or whatever you call it in your world. Don't tempt me, Mr. Simpson. Now, whatever you say, it can't be the truth or anywhere near it. Okay, okay, got it. I got it, I got it. Thank you. Hey, hey, baby. Steve, where are you? I called your office, you haven't been in all day. What are you doing? Uh, you know, um... Something came up. Steve. Okay, all right, um... Honey, I'm, I'm at, a, at a meeting. You're at a meeting? It's 10 p.m. at night. Who are you with? Well, um, this, uh... Bolivian coffee magnet. Hugo Chavez. He wants to fly me down to Bolivia and study weather patterns that are affecting their coffee crop. Are you being serious right now? Do you think I'm stupid? Hugo Chavez is the president of Venezuela. Don't. What's that sound? Are you at an airport? Uh, yeah, I'm going on a trip to Bolivia. With Hugo Chavez. Okay, Steve, are you with that girl? Babe. There is no other girl. I'm just caught up in a situation. Right, right, Steve. Okay. And you gotta trust me on this one. I promise you. There is no other girl. Okay, but you need to tell me where you are exactly. An airport. What airport, Steve? I, 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 I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. Why? Why are you lying to me? Okay, time's up, 007. Listen, baby, I gotta go. I, I should be home um, tomorrow. I love you. I love you so much. Okay, bye. Steve! <sighs> what? <sighs> Feel better now? Yeah, just great. Looks like Mr. Simpson's prediction is holding true. We have a rogue jet stream forming just off the west coast. We only have one shot at this. Let's make it count, people. Failure is not an option. Tom 1, check. And hydraulic. Check. All right, Tom 2. Check. All right, give me 20 degrees. Sure. Let's get the show on the road.
have a bearing on the center of the convergence. Altitude 10,000 feet, speed 350 miles per hour. It's gonna be a bumpy ride, boys. Buckle up. We're in for a bumpy ride, but we're gonna be safe, right? This is a big jet. It can handle the shearing forces, yeah? Sure, that's what these planes are built for. Turn around. This man needs help. Not anymore. Ah, oh, come on. Military operations don't just send because people die, Mr. Simpson. I get to your workstations while I secure the body. Now, go. Military. This is purely a weapon. This had nothing to do with making it rain in the desert. That's what I've been trying to tell you. You turned my work into a loaded gun. They were going to steal it anyway. I tried to guide it and keep it humanitarian, but I was wrong. Oh, Jesus. You were right the whole time. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. This is it, gentlemen. Ground zero for the jet stream is Seattle, Washington, then moving southbound all the way down the Pacific coast. It's now or never. Copy. Game time. Target area is 20,000 meters at your 10 o'clock. Roger, closing on target. Closing on target. Commencing dispersal now. Releasing now. They're gone. First data burst coming in three, two, one. Plugging data into Little Blue. Whoa. Statistical accuracy is 64%. Rising, 68% major. That's already higher than we've ever achieved. This weatherman is proving to be an asset. Detail is amazing. Alluring, isn't it? Seventy five percent still rising. We've reached eighty percent accuracy. We may pull this thing out yet, gentlemen. 
Good work. They're going to be naming high schools after you, football stadiums. 120 seconds left of probes. Copy. Switching to max predictive. We'll begin bursting. We're only at 81 percent. 81 percent is the highest we've ever achieved. We normally work at a much lower percentage. 60 percent is considered a success. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Collateral damage never was an issue for you guys. Guess not. We have stream accelerate. They are leading the stream, sir. OK. Let's save the world. Beginning repositioning maneuver. We have control of the stream. Still go on reposition. Dan. I think we may have a problem. It's all good. We're still within mission parameters. Maintain course change. Everything's good on our side. Losing predictive accuracy. Down to 73%. No, 64%. We're losing control of the jet stream. I have total system failure. Failure is not an option. Hang in there. We have to control the stream. I need a solution. Yeah, but I don't have one. System's locked up. Splitter's gonna lose coherence any second. I'm taking a little blue up line. Why? You're gonna have to control the plasma discharges, Steve. Do it manually. Manually? Blue is making trillions of operations per second. Little blue's a computer. You're intuitive. It'll fire wherever you point. I have no idea where to point it. Do it, Steve. Use your gut. I'm a weatherman. Just do it, damn it. Ridiculous, it's not working. Keep trying. Coherence failure seconds away. Dude, this isn't working. I'm just not the guy, man. Listen to me. You know we have a massive storm convergence growing. I know. If we don't stop it now, every city on the west coast is going to be wiped out. Seattle's at ground zero. So come on. I, I Use know. Use your gut. I know what's happening. It's just impossible. No way. You are not going to answer that! It's Angel. No kidding! What kind of service do you have? Hey, baby. Why is it so loud? Steve, will you please just tell me where you are? I wish I could. I don't understand why you're lying to me. It's not as if you're on some secret U.S. mission or something. And, um, everything's gonna be fine. No, it's not, Steve. You can't just hurt me like this and lie to me and, worst of all, not even tell me where you are. An Ange, li li listen to me. Listen to me. If you decide that you really love me, you can give me a call. No, 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 Ange! Ange! Damn it! Damn it!
Angel's moving out. Yeah, like that's a big surprise. Steve, do that again. Do what again? Steve, Angel's leaving you, right? Yeah. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel mad. It makes you feel angry, right? Yeah, really angry. What about me? What about what I did to you? I stole your life. Does that make you angry? Yeah, it makes me really angry. You pissed me off. You sold me out. What else? Tell me what else. Agent you... Fall back over there. He pisses me off. He's an idiot with a smirk on his face. What, what else makes you angry? This mission pisses me off. And that weather station, KPQR, and Jack, the guy who wants me to be the weatherman's all wild, he makes me go crazy. What about the jet stream? Does that make you angry? The jet stream makes me crazy. I want to go insane. I hate the jet stream. Right, you hate the jet stream. I hate the freaking jet stream. All right, let's do I it. hate it. Show I hate the, I hate the jet stream. I hate the jet stream. I hate it. I hate the jet stream. Coherence is strengthening. Nice. <gasps> You're doing it. You're doing it. The jet stream's refocusing. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I can do this! I can do this! Let's bring this sucker around, baby! You heard him. Let's complete the maneuver. Copy. Resuming maneuver. Bring it around! Bring this sucker around! Yeah! Full coherence restored. Excellent, gentlemen. It's working. We're within mission parameters. We're a go for phase three. Let's collide the streams. What's our status? Jet stream is normalizing. Confirm that, please. Confirm, sir. Jet stream is normalized. <laughs> nice work. Nice work, everybody. I'll be in my office. Yes, sir. <sighs> Good job. We did it. We did it. Now you did it. Woo! Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Unbelievable. What? What? The accuracy indicator says 99%. Ninety-nine percent accuracy? How's that even possible? Little Blue learned from what you were doing. It solved the dynamic airflow model. Completely. I'm happy to report Thor's hammer is a fully operational weapon system. Excellent work, Major. What do you think is gonna happen now? What do you mean? We're heading back to base. Yeah, we're heading back to base with a fully operational weapon system. What do you think is gonna happen to us? A guy just died and Captain America over there played it off like there's a bump in the road. You think they're gonna let us go back to our regular lives? I don't have a regular life. Major, we have a security issue up here. Requesting a green lake. You got it. I need you to safeguard Little Blue and secure the transmission of all its data. Am I making myself clear? Yes, sir. Sergeant, open up a high-speed secure channel. 
We're gonna download their data. Yes, sir. Listen to me. We'll never know when or where they're gonna use it because we'll never leave that base alive. I say we wait the drives on that thing. Gentlemen, we have orders to open a secure channel and upload all data from Little Blue back to base. Why? I'm gonna need you to step away from this terminal. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. Dr. Berg, begin the upload. Daniel! Daniel, don't do it! Once they get the data, they're gonna kill both of us. Hey, Simpson, what's your problem? You helped save the world. Your country appreciates that. Where's all this hostility coming from? You heard the Major. You guys stole my work once. There's no way in hell you're doing it again. All right, whoa, whoa. All right, all right, all right. Chill, chill. Dr. Berg, begin the upload now. It's Angel. <laughs> Gunfire. Get back there and see what's going on. The next one's gonna be right through your heart. Do you understand, Simpson? Now for the last time, Dr. Bird. Start the upload. That's better. Ah. Hey, Jim, what's going on here? I heard weapon fire. It's okay, Lieutenant. I've got everything under control. Cut it off. I said, cut it off! Put the gun down. Shut it down. I swear, I'll shoot. Shut it down! I'll shoot you! Are you really that good? Are you sure you won't hit your buddy over here? Behind you! Put your gun down. Don't move! Get back, get back! Don't you move! Okay. Look, you've had your fun. Why don't you put the gun away before you hurt yourself? Get back, get back! got to be the worst shot I've ever seen. Really? Oh, crap. Come <laughs> on! 
position's been compromised. Possible structural damage. I need clearance to land immediately. Is the ETA that plane? At their current rate and altitude, about 15 minutes. The status on that data download. Should complete in nine minutes, as long as there are no interruptions. Pass me through to the captain. Done. Captain, what is the status of your plane? Copilot is not responding. In emergency descent. Again, requesting clearance to land. Captain, I need you to listen to me very carefully. I need you to put the plane on autopilot right now. I need you to go back to the control room and secure the data download. Do you understand me? Major, I do not recommend that I leave the cockpit until I land this plane. That is a direct order, Captain. Captain! Damn it! this plane. Get off the plane? How am I going to do that? Parachute. Are you out of your mind? Steve, you want to live? You need to get to the back of the plane, put on a chute, and get out of here. Danny, I am not going to leave you here. Wait, what are you doing? Turning the systems back online. We just saved the world. Why would you turn it back on? One more swing of Thor's hammer. Listen to me, you need to think Steve. this through. Steve, for once in your life, you need to listen to me. I'm taking this stream straight back into the base. This whole program ends here and now. Strap on that parachute and get the hell out of here. I am not gonna leave you here to die. Look at me. I got a bullet in my gut. <sighs> I got maybe 10 minutes to live before I bleed to death. We knew that this might be a one-way trip. I don't want to go out of here, knowing that Shaw might win this. No, man, no. We take out the base, we land this beast, I get you to a hospital, Steve. everything will be Steve. fine! Steve, that's not happening. The only way you're getting out of here is a parachute. Look, look, I took your life from you. Let me give it back. Now get out of here. I miss you, brother. Next time you get a great idea, keep it to yourself. Now go!
Sir, I have a truck on the plane. They're returning to base. Is the download complete? Yes, sir. We have it all. Any word from the pilot? Negative. Pilot has shut down all communications. Activate anti-aircraft batteries. Sir. Target the plane, Perez. Sir, it's our plane. It's a rogue plane. It's a direct order. Target it now. Put up the satellite. Satellite's up. They're pulling the jet stream right at us. Alexander Air Base. Please acknowledge. Coming right back at you. Open the blast shield. I want to see what the hell's going on out there. Wind speed? 800 miles an hour. Weapons live. Fire. Direct hit, sir. The plane is down. I want this base put on lockdown right away. Get to it. Sergeant, I want that downloaded, secured, and encrypted ASAP. Yes, sir. Sir? It's still coming, sir. She's turned into a real bad day. It's beautiful. Shut it down. Shut it all down. Thor's hammer never existed. Is that clear? Steve? Hey, Angel. Oh, how you doing, baby? How do you think I'm doing? I'm leaving. I just called to tell you I'm leaving my keys in your mailbox. No, no, Angel, please. Don't do that, don't. How am I supposed to trust you when you won't even tell me where you are? What's that sound? Are, are you at another airport? No, I'm, uh... I am definitely not at an airport, but yeah, that is a helicopter. Hang on, Steve. Take your right hand and, and wave to the helicopter above you. Hey, Angel. Hey, Angel. Is that you, babe? We continue with live coverage from our news helicopter that is over what appears to be the only survivor from a C-17 crash. Early reports indicate that what may have been a weather weapons test gone out of control caused the plane to crash and destroyed a military test facility. The death toll may be in the hundreds as we wait for further reports. So far, no government sources have made any statements. Oh my God. But there will be a press conference Steve, at 5 p.m. Is that you? It's me. 
I guess you know where I'm at. Where am I? In a world where weather's gone wild, only one man has the insight, the talent, the power to forecast what's coming at you. Steve Sonny Simpson is the weatherman. What do you think? That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, but I want I want to go again. Oh, okay. Going again. Okay. Why? What was wrong with that? You know, I just want to take it up a notch. I want to pump it up. You know what I mean? I want, I want, I want it to be Richter. I'm, I'm going to really go for it on this one, okay? And also, if you can get the camera guy to have the, the, the crane swoop in a little bit lower, maybe you can drop that crane down a little. I got a better angle over here. Cool, all right. Maybe a wider lens, some more backlight. Now you're talking, dude. Now you're talking, baby. And also, crank that wind machine up. Crank it up to 11. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can handle it. You know what? It's all about entertainment, baby, right? All right. We owe it. We're entertainers. Knuckles. Come on, baby. Knuckles. Blow it up. Blow it up, baby. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey um, um, I wanted to pitch you something. I got this idea for a show. Oh, well, you, you got to talk to my manager. Sure. What did he have in mind? Well, you know there's all these stories about how the Chinese and Russians have all this weather modification technology, and you got this weatherman gone wild thing, you're a scientist kind of dude. Thought you could, like, totally host it, and you'd rock, and it'd be awesome. Yeah, man, you know, I don't think that's something I can get behind, dude. It's just not my thing. We need to work with nature, get more in harmony with Mother Nature. That's something I can get behind. What are you thinking, dude? Absolutely. All right. You dig it? You dig it? All right, let's shoot this, baby. Come on! Whoa! Baby, I told you, I was made for this stuff. And I was made for you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>